Hi, Max Brantley with the Arkansas Times on Thursday, October the 12th. Let's start with the news from Washington. Donald Trump today issued his planned executive order on health care. He says it's going to unleash the free market and make health care more affordable and more available to everyone. Well, the experts disagree with him. He's, they say that perhaps it'll lure some healthy people into low-cost, not very good insurance plans and in the process wreck the structure set up by the Affordable Care Act, which of course is the point the Arkansas Democratic Party has issued a statement severely critical critical of the move. Uh, litigation is almost certainly to arise from this. A lot more to come on this. For now, it's just an order. Regulations will have to follow to put it in place. The president's also making news with uh, his comments on Puerto Rico. He says it's time for Puerto Rico to stand on its own. Three weeks of U.S. help down there is about enough, about time for them to take care of themselves. Well, you would think he doesn't know that Puerto Rico is part of the United States. We're going to be there for a long time to come. The criticism of the government's help down there is lacking. He's also saying Puerto Rico needs to borrow money to fix itself up. He hasn't said the same things about Texas and Florida. There's a significant difference between the people in Puerto Rico and a lot of the people in Texas and Florida. Of course, I'll leave that to you to decide what that is. News came yesterday afternoon that an Arkansan Jacob Goodwin of Ward had been added to the list of those charged with beating up a black man during the white supremacist demonstration in Charlottesville, Virginia. He was being held by authorities who were going to take him to Virginia for prosecution. Interested to read that his mother went along to Charlottesville with him on his trip up there where he was photographed with, with a shield and weapons and the paramilitary style favored by the white supremacists. He seems to have a background in that sort of thing. There were quite a few white supremacist connections in dozens of arrests made by federal authorities yesterday in the Russellville area. They busted people for methamphetamine dealing and for drug violations, but the white supremacist ties in this group were very strong. Their law enforcement officials said these people are not unknown to law enforcement officials in Arkansas. Some of them have faced criminal charges here before. Some of them may have been under parole supervision, and that's a question worth looking at as the days go by. Somewhat shocking news yesterday in, in Van Buren, although the court action made it clear that it was going to happen, Ricky Dale Newman who'd been in prison for 17 years for a brutal murder in Van Buren, Arkansas. He was charged with and admitted at one point killing and dismembering a woman he lived with in a transient camp in Van Buren was released from prison. The Supreme Court had said that his first conviction was invalid because he was not mentally competent to make the confession that he made after waiving his rights. And for that reason, he now goes free. His lawyer says he's innocent of these charges. Authorities up there are not so sure, but they didn't feel like they could prosecute him a second time without his confessions. They had little other physical or other evidence to go on, and so he goes free. He says he's going to Veterans Administration Hospital first. He's not in good health, but people are, are nervous about this with good reason. Little Rock City Attorney Tom Carpenter is issued an official opinion in response to a complaint from blogger Russ Raycop. He says it's perfectly legal under state law, if not under city law, for Mark Stodel to cash in on 78000 in leftover campaign funds from an early unopposed race for mayor and use it in a race for mayor next year. This is the same city attorney who says, oops, sorry, state law does not allow challengers Warwick Sabin and Frank Scott to set up exploratory committees to raise money any sooner than June of next year to run against Stodel. It looks like a little home cooking, although legally he may be right, certainly on a, on a do-right rule basis. It's not right for the mayor to pile up money from years ago and use it to run for mayor and not let other people raise money the same way. Interesting story by Bloomberg today that's getting a little attention around the country. Walmart which is moving heavily into digital commerce, is having to expand its recruiting boundaries. It's making college recruiting tours at elite co colleges around the country, showing how hip it is in, in the new day of commerce, and, and having some success. But it's run into some people that are not particularly interested in moving to Arkansas. One of them said moving to Arkansas, well, that's just a deal breaker. Imagine what the Arkansas legislature does not being appealing to students at elite Ivy League colleges. Medical rights for women, discrimination against gay people, low pay, bad job benefits, not teaching evolution, not teaching sex education. What's not to like about that if you're a smart student in another college? Well, anyway, we can talk about that at some other time, I'm sure. Houston Nutt filed a new lawsuit in, Ole, in Mississippi today against Ole Miss. He says they broke his employment contract when he left as a football coach. They were supposed not to say bad things about him. They tried to dump some recruiting problems and NCAA investigations off on Nutt when the problem apparently was Hugh Freeze, the succeeding coach, Tom Mars. His lawsuit makes some interesting reading. 
It points out that Hugh Freeze got away with a lot of what he got away with by talking what a great Christian he was. I've always said when people start boasting about what a great Christian they are, you better watch your back. The State Fair begins today in Little Rock, and it's going to be a day longer than normal. It starts on a Thursday this afternoon instead of Friday. We've got an interesting link on our, on our Arkansas blog today from Cat Robinson, who shows all the new food on the Midway. Don't think I'm going to go for any of that pizza with mealworms on it, but maybe the corn wrapped in bacon and deep fried might be something. And finally, I would like to take note of uh, the earth moving uh, today. Uh, I agree with something Rush Limbaugh said. He went on, on his radio show yesterday, and he's no friend, friend of NFL players or Black Lives Matter, no friend of equal justice in America, I should say, but he says it's beginning to bother him that Donald Trump wants to dictate to a private business about its business practices. That is, he doesn't think it's so much a good thing for government to tell the NFL it must tell its players how to behave during the national anthem. Well, no kidding, it's about the authoritarianism, isn't it? And it's, it, it turns up again and again in Donald Trump's governance, and it's a problem. Authoritarianism, that's something to resist today. I will. I hope you can try, too. I'm Max Brantley, and I'll be back tomorrow.